Well, good morning, y'all. This is an interesting video. It's not that long of a video, but I'm going to play y'all video. Um, and I will demonetize uh, this video afterwards. Uh, I don't know how to demonetize it from the get-go, but anyway. Once I get uh, some people on, I'll share the video. I don't get it in a little bit, then I'll share the video anyway. All right. We have one person that liked it. Hey, what's up, bro? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share this video. Hello. I am here to discuss Sheriff Mark oh, Garber's somebody. sales tax proposition for 2018. First, plain and simple, you need to vote no. This man has revised it three times thus far. That would tell anyone straight off the bat that there is much uncertainty with his plan. As it stands right now, we have enough law enforcement all the way around. They are just poorly mismanaged from top down. Consider, here in the Acadiana area alone the Lafayette City Police, the Lafayette Sheriff's Department, the City Marshal's Office, the Park Police, and then the Scott Police, Broussard Police, Dusan Police, Karen Crow Police, the Youngsville Police, the University Police, and then tack that on with the State Police, the FBI, the U.S. Marshals, the DEA, the ATF, and never-ending. Enough already. Crime is inevitable when taking into account the economics and missed chances of opportunity and the lack of direction therein. The more police we get, the more problems they will cause. Think about it. Will crime go down? Absolutely not. They will arrest more, and more people for minor infractions, write more tickets, which are already outrageous in costs. Alright, hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'll I'm playing the wrong video. Hold on. Sorry about that. I do apologize. Alright, this is the video I wanted y'all to see. I know it's kind of probably upside down or whatever, backwards. I want to tell you a story about someone who loses things. This is definitely a made-for-TV series. In episode one, as Sheriff Mark Garber on September 4th, 2017, had lost his child and a babysitter. Thank God they were found safe and unharmed. Episode two, on or about September 13th, 2017, he lost a marked Sheriff's Department vehicle, a bulletproof vest, what? and not one but two guns. In episode three, wow. Talk about projection back upon the citizens. On November 8, 2017, or thereabout, Sheriff Garber's department began the campaign. If you love it, lock it. Were they simply having a protracted, projected feeling of guilt? I guess someone told them so they told us, the citizens and residents of Lafayette Parish. In episode 4, Sheriff Garber lost an inmate in August 2018. Things just disappear around us, Sheriff Mark Garber. Now having said that, are you sure you want to vote in favor of his sales tax rate increase with all that money he's estimated? At first $38 million and now down to 20 some odd million in one of his latest versions of the plan. What would happen if he lost that money, or he and our mayor president decide to exchange it all for cryptocurrency like bitcoins, or invest in a Bernie Madoff type scam? Our mayor president even suggested that Lafayette should get involved in cryptocurrency. Yes, believe it or not, it's true. Let's think about this for a little while. My suggestion is simple. Just vote no come that election day. With more serious discussion to be had now, Sheriff Garber wants to raise sales tax and decrease property tax. There is a big problem with doing that. The majority of people who don't pay property tax are poorer, as a given than those that do have property. Now the burden will shift even more onto the poor while giving the established property owner a break. One of the reasons sheriff departments are funded through property tax, some of the original purposes of sheriffs were to protect property including livestock, etc. So it's only fair that the property owners pay and we already have enough presently. 
Even with his so-called shift from property to sales tax, Mr. Kevin Nacken, one of our councilmen, started the creation of a special fire district, which will also be on the ballot. Mr. Nacken is also behind funding through an increase in property tax to offset a hypothetical rise in insurance. That is an entire different segment coming soon. It's a no-win situation with these guys. In their heart they all mean well, but enough is enough. We need professionals who will call it like it is, and not cater and soothe over tempers simply for votes. We have the solutions, and these are not them. We need discourse, extreme discourse, and in that discourse, in time we will find that proper corrective course of action to take. But until then, we might need install a GPS, RFID chip, and fit Bangabu along with everyone around him and everything he touches. Wow. Now that's interesting because we we didn't see that on the news. That's interesting. So they lost military equipment because that's what it looks like to me. It was military body armor, military guns. Wow. You're going to lose military stuff and you're supposed to be the sheriff? Now that's interesting. That's interesting. Sheriff Mark Gorber is worse than Brian L. Pope. Wow. So what do y'all have to say about this video? I'm interested to hear what y'all have to say. This is interesting. That is just insane. Oh, and that is that video. Matter of fact, I'm going to post it up. Spell that. Uh, that is nineteen seventy six. So the Phantom 1976 is where I got the video from. That is just crazy. So, um, yeah, that is just crazy. So that's that's all we have for this morning, y'all. Y'all go support the Phantom 1976 on YouTube. Um, the video I showed um, with uh, uh, Sheriff Mark Gorber losing a uh, a marked truck, um, a military um, body vest, bulletproof vest, a military gun, probably two military guns. They had military hats, um, stuff. He, he lost a bunch of military equipment. And uh, here he is claiming to uh, protect the laws, and he can't even protect his own trucks, his own vehicles. So I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.